Good morning children. Today we shall learn about the importance of water. We all know how important water is. We cannot survive without the water. We use the water in many things daily like cooking, bathing, sanitation, washing of clothes, utensils etc, gardening and many more things. But we cannot understand the true importance of water if we just think of these daily usage in our homes. So let us see what all we eat. In the summer we eat watermelon to stay cool. You know 95% of the watermelon is just water. Water is one of the main components of every kind of food. Like the egg has almost 73% of water. The green vegetables has around 90% of water. The potato has 78% of water. So we see water is an important component of all types of foods. We can live without the food for many days but it is difficult to live without water even for a day. Almost 70% of our body is made of water. Not only us, the water is an important component of body of every living organism. You know, the life started in the water. You know, in the beginning, there were living organisms with single cell only, like the bacteria. Even today, most of the life is found in the sea, ocean and other water bodies. The water is the habitat of most of the living organisms on the earth. Not only sea, the oceans, rivers, lakes, and ponds are full of living things that is the aquatic animals and the aquatic plants. The aquatic habitat not only has plants and animals with single cells but also the huge whales, sharks, octopus etc. So there is a great diversity of life. The single celled plants are called phytoplanktons and the single celled animals are called zooplanktons. The human civilization cannot grow without water as we not only need water for our daily needs, we need water for cultivation of crops and industry etc too. This is the reason why many ancient civilizations flourished on the banks of the river like the Harappa, Mohenjo-daro, the Egyptian civilization as people used river water for irrigation. So no water means no food. All the industries, factories use huge amount of water as the raw material. Water is used in factories for the production cleaning, making electricity, cooling, chemical reactions and many other things. It is estimated that 22% of the used water is used only in the industry. And we cannot forget that water is the source of electricity. Water is a renewable energy source. Huge dams are made on rivers and lakes to produce clean hydro energy. When water is released, it comes down with the great force. That force of water is used to turn the turbine to produce electricity. Water is also the medium of transport. A river connects the cities which are situated on its bank. India has about 14,500 kilometers of navigable waterways, which consist of the Ganges, Bhagirathi and the Hooghly rivers. So water is life. Water gives us food, industry, electricity, the needs of humans and the needs of the civilization. But you know only around 3% of the total water available on the earth is usable fresh water. 
the rest is saline meaning it is salty water unusable without any treatment to it so if the bucket here represents all the water present in the earth then the glass is 3% fresh water available but almost 2.997% from it is trapped in the ice caps glaciers deep underground so only 0.03% of whole water is available for us directly for the use as fresh water say only the smaller spoon that is painfully small amount so conserve water and don't waste it you know 22nd march is observed as the world water day as water is life and a whole civilization depends on the water hence we should conserve water for better future and not waste it that's all for today bye bye children